Now he was hub for Southern Africa. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Wow. He was right there. He was hub for Southern Africa. We'll be launching a women empowerment for leadership program in Zimbabwe. To discuss this and more, <coughs> we have invited into the studio Tanya Lobos, who is the director from Evos, to give us more insight. A very good morning. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning to you. Very well. Now, may you give a brief explanation as to why Evos and uh, you know what you're doing in scope of this uh, women empowerment program? Okay, HIVOS is a development organization and we believe that you can't do development without including women. After all, we are 51% here, 50% globally of the population and if you don't include women, you can't develop our societies. Okay. So today we launch a program called Women Empowered for Leadership, mm -hmm. which we run in five countries, three okay. in Southern Africa and two in the Middle East. And all together we work on, on women's empowerment. All right. So what does this program of women empowerment entail and, and, and who exactly is involved in it's this initiative? It's really focusing on, on female leadership in politics, mm. in public administration and in civil society. Mm -hmm. And really to empower women, but also to prepare society in a way to get used to, to us <laughs> being in leadership <laughs> positions. Over the years, though, how have you seen the progression in terms of mainstream society embracing women in positions of leadership? I think uh, we're really in an era where women rule. Like if you look globally, <laughs> we, we see ourselves in good positions. And also in Zimbabwe, women participation is growing. We get to see more women in powerful positions. Mm. Uh, Zimbabwe as a country is also very committed to women's empowerment. Uh, mm. Your country signed various treaties yeah. uh, to support women empowerment. And still there, we also see there's a world to gain because the numbers are still too low. And if you really look what kind of positions do mm -hmm. women held, um, it's not necessarily leadership positions. Mm -hmm. And that's really where we want to focus on, on the sub-national level, mm -hmm. on leadership, like mm -hmm. building skills of women. Mm -hmm. And as I said, also preparing society, political to parties to embrace women. Mm -hmm. All right, and so what do you hope uh, to have achieved ultimately at the end of this project. Mm -hmm. So really equal participation in politics, in public administration, in civil society. Also that society is more positive towards female leadership, that media like yourself yeah. also have a good representation of women and of yeah. women issues. So thank you for inviting us. Yeah. So really overall a better inclusion of women in Zimbabwean society, especially in leadership. Can I tell you something? Is ZBC have actually gone a, a notch higher and better. There are more women anchors on news than men. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And I didn't know. And I will use it today in our lounge. You must definitely use that. That's, that's really a good, good way to set the example. You set are important. Fantastic. Now, uh, continuing with our discussion here, uh, what has been in your opinion in terms of, uh, we were discussing off air and you're saying you've been in here for the past four years. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the impediments of women getting into positions of authority or power in main society, mainstream society, what have been the major setbacks? Uh, I think there's a few. First of all, if there's not many women, women feel nervous to, to enter the stage. So the fact that there's few women as such is a barrier in a way. Mm. Also culturally, like as I said, like the, if people don't embrace women, mm -hmm. uh, it's even harder for us to mm. yet again enter the stage. Um, yeah, and, and, and traditionally we don't see many women in like, by the way, Zimbabwe, traditionally women do have a very important role to mm. play in their villages, in their families. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I think in Zimbabwe, the change should be easy. I, d I don't only want to talk about impediments. I also think there's great opportunities here. Oh, fantastic. There we go. And uh, in terms of um, the disparity between the marginalized women in the rural areas and the women in the urban areas, mm -hmm. how fast is the gap there in your experience? I think the, vast, the, the gap is vast, is great, is, is, is too big. And anyway, if you look at poor people, 70% of them are women. So mm -hmm. we're still in marginalized positions. And indeed, we really want to focus on subnational, rural le level, because there the gap is bigger. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Tanya Lobos uh, from Hivos, the director, coming through to tell us more about uh, the launch that will be taking place later today, Women's Coalition platform and a process to empower women to be leaders in mainstream society as well as prepare society itself to embrace women to be in those positions of authority and power. Thank you very much Thank Tanya, you for coming so through. Good morning.